So we're here at the Adobe stand with Powell. Uh, there's lots of new things in Adobe Premiere this year. Um, can you share us what is new in Adobe Premiere? Yes, uh, let me start with what I'm most excited about this year, that is the freeform view. You see these little icons in here, which helps you arrange your uh, project items in a very freeform way. This is one of our top requests from the uh, Hollywood customers of Adobe. So if I go to, this is a sample bin that I've created for demoing this feature. If I go in here, you see that? You see this freeform icon has gone blue? Ah, yeah. So now you have all your stuff in here and you can like stack them up, move them around, put them in the hiding. So that's like, that's another storyboard by itself. Mm. And besides, it helps you organize as you like. Like you can have your hero shot much bigger than it's others. Big. Yeah, so Freeform is one of the very well-received features this year. So it makes it a lot easier to kind of visualize your, your story yes, and, and that, like say, You know, what I also relate to is this is how the uh, new editors start at editing schools. Yeah. You know, they try to tell their stories through a lot of pictures, yeah. just put in order. So yeah, this is one of our storyboard thing. Yeah. All right, so another is this uh, Rulers and Guys, which is already on right now. So what I can do is, let me take this off. All right, so this is how your uh, program wonder has always been. There's a feature, Rulers and Guys, which has always been there in After Effects. And now we have brought it up in Premiere Pro, like this. And uh, you can just, you know, bring on the guides this easily. So it's cool, it's easy, and it also makes your, uh, if you want to, you know, make your footage totally friendly to all aspect ratios, you could set up something like this. We have similar problems, you know, if we're doing content for Instagram, uh, yes. and maybe we want to use the same footage, but we want to output it a few times, that's going to be really handy. Yes, you can, you, and you can do that so, many, so many social uh, channels available yeah. on phones and devices with the new generation. Mm. And you could even, you know, save it as a template. And even if you clear it, you can go back to your template and you'll have it right back. You could keep that template over and over projects and that'll help you. Perfect, that'll save a lot of time. Yeah. So that was also one of our top feature requests. So that's what Adobe has looked into. Uh, another one, which is one of my favorite, I'll show you how we did this, which we could not do earlier, which is having multiple strokes on text. So earlier, you, what you would write is, earlier you would not have like so many strokes in here, right? Mm. And you would write something, it would just look plain. This was one of our top requests from the Japan market, mm. that when they do this, they want to be able to have multiple colors. And you can keep on going with this plus and minus icons. And this is how you can keep on adding strokes giving them different colors, and maybe putting different weights in here. That's great. So it's bringing over a lot of the functionality from Photoshop and bringing it straight into to video, which is really good. Because I'm, I'm actually more of, I guess, a Photoshop guy than a video guy. And uh -huh. this makes Premiere a lot easier for me to use as, as well, which is really cool. That's great. So um, that's available for download now as well, isn't it? It is. It is already available and it's uh, trending. Yeah, brilliant. Well, thanks very much for your time. Uh, good to meet you here at Adobe today. We're going to check out some of the other features uh, in some of the other Adobe programs as well. So keep watching.